What's up guys, my name is US Cobra and I'm finally coming at you today with some Dur Eisendrak high round gameplay. Um I know I'm a little late to the party, you know I've been Dur Eisen slacking. Shut the fuck up. But really this is probably the easiest and most simple strategy you will see to get into the high rounds. So do leave a like if you do enjoy and let's get right into the strategy. So starting from the beginning, here I'm hitting the box like a bitch, trying to get that haymaker. Honestly, the box is a dick on this map, I will say. Treyarch amped up the dick levels for the box, so just a heads up. Also, why did they put this riot shield piece on the fucking wall? I can't get it. I can't do it. But anyways, how did you guys enjoy this map so far? Xbox users, I'm so sad. Just, just <laughs> recipes, recipes. But, um... I stayed up all night for this map, uh, did not sleep, stayed up till 1am, and then I stayed up until I had to go to school. So I was going to school with zero hours of sleep, probably the worst decision of my life. I had to give a present day, it was just awful, it was awful, it was awful. Anyway, so yeah, um, my Elgato was kind of crapping out on me yesterday, that's why I have not uploaded yet. But don't worry guys, I persevered, I got this nice high round gameplay for you guys. So like I said, this is a very simple strategy. Um, I do get the bow, but it is not necessary. And right now I'm kind of working to build the the new wonder weapon, Gravity Spikes, the Ragnarok DG4. Whatever the fuck that means, I have no idea. Why don't they just call it the penis choppers? We'll never know, we'll never know. I think Treyarch should honestly hire me. I am a freaking genius with these names. But as you can see, I'm getting my second part to the Ragnarok. You get your first part from killing the Panzer Soldat, aka the Big Daddy, aka the fuck. And then you have to like do this control pa I don't know, dude. It's so complicated. There's no goddamn room in this fucking room right here. As you can see, I'm rocking the Pergaholic. You know me, you know me. Electric Cherry has returned. It's kind of annoying, honestly. Every time you reload, just like... It's like you're fucking getting electrocuted or some shit. I'm trying to get this damn part. The amount of times I've died trying to get this freaking part to just some stupid-ass penis choppers, man. It's just... It's ridiculous. And then the last part. Uh, we'll be getting that later, I guess. Round 22, now we're sort of running around in this courtyard area as you saw at the beginning of the video. If you didn't see it at the beginning of the video, you are blind, but congratulations, you can see now, so it is a fucking miracle. Anyway, there's my last part to the Ragnarok. Now we're going to build this shit. Had to look everywhere for a crafting table. Like, come on, this, is, this should be like Minecraft, you know? You should just build a crafting table and fucking place it wherever you want. There, I'm just wrecking a zombie with these penis choppers. It is so lit. Round 23. And pretty much the rest of the strategy is just running around here with an upgraded hay maker. And if you don't know how to pack a punch, oh, you didn't just see that down. That didn't, that didn't just happen. If you don't know how to pack a punch, there are two locations. There's one by the big ass death ray, and then there's one in the sort of underground area by the pyramid. Um, and you teleport the pack punch pieces to the rocket, and then to get to the rocket, you go in the teleporter, which is also down in the underground area, and you can puk, you can puck your punch. So haymaker, the shotguns are just great for this map. They're great for taking out the Panzer Soldat, as well as the Ragnarok. You can trap the Panzer Soldat in like this vortex of swag. It's probably the greatest thing I've ever seen. These things are actually insanely useful, and I'm glad Treyarch is making the most of the game and incorporating these like specialist weapons into zombies. I think it's pretty neat, honestly. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. What do you think of this map overall? What do you think of the Ragnarok? What do you think of this yellow gun that looks like P? Uh, I like it. The colors change when you upgrade them and stuff. So it's it's pretty it's pretty it's pretty sick. It's pretty sick. But there it is, round 30, ladies and gentlemen. This is the easiest round 30 strategy you will ever see in your life. Make sure to hit that like button if you did enjoy it. It helps a tremendous amount. We're on the road to 66666 subscribers, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. 